Hi guys, what's up? Today I am going to discuss about SAP R3. So this is the topic I am going to cover in the couple of minutes. So SAP training by Chanu SK. If you are completely new to this channel or watching my videos first time, please subscribe right now and hit the bell icon. Let's move on to the topic. SAP R3 architecture. So here R signifies real time system. R stands for real time system and SAP has three kinds of servers or layers. So that layers are presentation layer, application layer and database layer. So this three tier architecture is a client server architecture. We can also call it as a simply we can say it's a client server architecture and user species can be GUI. GUI stands for graphical user interface and web browsers through these two sources are very much important for users to access SAP system. Okay, so without SAP system there are other user interfaces are there like uh, mobiles, laptops, tablets or these are also called as uh, user access systems. Here you can have a look at it's a SAP R3 architecture. So I already told you there are three kinds of servers we have in SAP system. One is presentation layer and second one is application layer and third one is database layer. So there are three types of layers in SAP system. So every layer has different kind of significance in the SAP system. So presentation layer. So presentation layer is just like it may be some PCs, laptops or tablets, whatever devices it can be. In SAP, so we have GUI and web browsers. So this presentation layer is connected with uh, so these systems. So directly, so if it is a GUI, then it is connected with the GUI system. So like uh, uh, I will tell you one example. So here it's a computer. So computer is uh, associated with uh, keyboards and mouse. So whatever the information you will provide to the computer through keyboards and mouse, that will be processing in the uh, middle of the layer that is called as application layer through software we can view the details over here whatever the inputs are providing to the system the same you can view in the display box so like that so whatever the information will be provided by the will be provided by the end users that information will be processed to the application layer so that's the information will be processing through application layer application layer is nothing but it's a software it's a software okay so after that so you directly move to the database layer so that information will be stored or saved in the database so user will provide the inputs and the system will process that inputs and it will directly move to the database where the information will be stored and again it will send to the application layer and again it will send to the presentation layer so that user can access the details in the screen so here there are three kind of servers we have one is presentation layer and second one is application layer and third one is database layer so presentation layers can be so gui and web browsers in sap site and application layer can be softwares there are different kind of servers are linked with application layer and different kind of servers are linked with the database layer. Just let's look out the presentation servers. See presentation server is also called as presentation layer is also called as client layer. So presentation layer can be desktop, mobiles, devices and laptops. So in SAP we can call it as a GUI. GUI stands for graphical user interface. SAP user interaction purpose we can use GUI. So presentation layer is a user interaction completely. The presentation layer sends the user's input to the application server. So the initial step is so whatever the inputs that we are providing that will be processed through application server. 
so that the inputs we are providing that is called as application layer and processing layer is called as application server so presentation layer through presentation layer we are giving the inputs and through application layer that data will be processed and receives the data for display from it application layer let's understand this concept application is nothing but uh, business logic and it's a software so all the data will be processed through application layer only so process data using application logic so the data will be processed through application logic and it communicate with uh, both layers like uh, database layer and uh, presentation layer and read or write from the database layer read or write from the database layer so application layer is just uh, like it's a software all the data will be processed in this layer and uh, this and whatever the workload is distributed among the multiple application servers with multiple application servers the user get the output more quickly so here the last layer is database layer so this is completely responsible for the storing the data so there are two kinds of data we have one is database management system and the second one is database so database layer consists of two components one is database management system and database all the servers are linked with the, this database layer and uh, so the data will be processed to application layer and will be stored in the database layer so the this layer is completely responsible for processing the results from the application layer and sends back the required information so this is all about sap r3 architecture so thank you very much for watching this video Thank you so much. See you soon.